Students in Cindy Boyce and Phil Thorson's classrooms are learning in new ways this year. Their classrooms were renovated to promote collaborative learning. The idea here is that we're creating engaged and active learners instead of passive learners that just sit and listen to a lecture for an hour. We're preparing them by teaching them how to work together. So they're developing those um, teamwork skills and um, those uh, communication skills and social skills of working with other people to solve problems. Students like Sydney Kerr like the change. She says the new design has changed her perspective on coming to class. It makes it more fun to learn than just sitting there and like taking notes. Like we do take notes, but they're on our, like each, each, um, computer we can pull up our own intrada and like look at the notes like ourselves and then write them down like on our own time and we can go home and look at our notes so it makes it easier to learn that way thorson says one of the ideas behind collaborative learning is to be interactive the value of collaborative learning is that you're not just sitting you're actually doing and so the the doing part a lot of times helps people connect a little bit better you know whereas if if i'm just communicating the information then you know, maybe it connects, maybe it doesn't, but giving an opportunity to draw arrows and label things and everything makes it a bit more, um, a bit, it, it just sticks better in people's brains. Tia Fuller is in Thorson's class. I like it. I don't, I mean, bigger classes aren't really my thing, but 40 people is not too bad. And we're able to get more opinions with more people. Olivia Bryant says she enjoys the hands-on aspect of collaborative learning, as well as being able to work with her peers. This is definitely a lot better because you're able to work together with other people and personal experiences. Um, maybe if you don't understand something uh, at first or you're too afraid to ask a teacher, you have other peers at the same age who may be going through the same exact things that you can talk to and help you better understand. Boyce and Thorson both say they've had similar feedback from their students. Boyce says collaborative learning can be especially helpful for preparing students for the workforce because employers expect their people to be able to work together and solve problems. For students like Hannah Rayer, the environment in the classroom makes her much more comfortable as a student. It's like at home, like it's easy to learn. You feel like you're at home, so you're not as uncomfortable. You're, um, you're in that like state of mind that you're like, oh, I can relax here. I can learn and relax. For LTTV, I'm Chris Ford.